Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, I'm going to show you how to do the can mod, finally. Been meaning to do this video for ages and just keep forgetting. I'm going to do two different methods. I'm going to do the can mod and also uh, the heat shrink. So, um, both the same principle, just to pad off the spring guide. So for start, I'm going to do the SSG and then I'm going to switch over to the... the uh, AEG we'll call it, there's no point going into it, because we're all here for this. So, first things first, you've got to disassemble your SSG, so which is, you've got your two screws underneath here, which I say are screws, I've upgraded mine, I say upgraded, I've put better uh, screws into mine because the other one's just stripped instantly, so. Okay, so once we've got these out. Also got the one here, which is a Phillips head. Just come out and just put your thumb in here and push the front of the gun up. That'll come off, let's put that to the side. So now you've got your lovely inner workings. Now, what you want to do is take off your trigger. So you've got your front screw here and your rear screw here there we go that just lifts out and just put that to the side keep the screws in it, it makes it easier then you just simply pull out your cylinder and there we go now as you can see I've put some uh, Teflon tape just around the nozzle just to get a better seal it's not needed but I've just done it and it doesn't cause any adverse effects so win-win so yeah, you've got your two notches on the top here. You just want to shove your pliers into it, which I've got mine here. So let's put them into there like that. Obviously it's better if you've got real like needle nose ones. These ones are just some fat needle nose, but it works. Just take the pressure off of that and then just twist it off. Make sure you keep tight hold just in case the uh, nozzle flies off. As you can ask my monitor, on my other gun I ended up nailing my monitor, so there we go, you just take your nozzle off, put it to the side, obviously I've put some Sobo pad onto here, that's another good mod you can do. Um, I've got the air brake on there, just take all this gubbins out, put it to the side. Cylinder is not needed, this is what we are here for. This right here is your spring guide. And this is what is going to get the can mod. Now, as you can see on mine, I've already put um, a heat shrink on it. Um, I just felt like it was going to work a lot better than uh, than the can mod, just because it's it was a lot easier, essentially. Um, and I've got all my FPS rings here to make it up to standards. But anyway, can mod. So what you want to do is get your spring guide here. And then you want to get a Stanley knife or something. To cut with, I've got scissors and uh, two cutting knives, and you want to put it, put your spring guide up against the can, and see, obviously, when you get yours, if you haven't got the FPS rings on it, I've just put my FPS rings underneath the thing just to keep them in, but um, if you haven't got the FPS rings on it, um, then put it all the way down to the bottom. So you want to line it up just like that and see where the top is, and just create a mark with where that is. So. I'm using a uh, Monster Energy can. It's not an alcoholic beverage, YouTube. Don't cancel me. Uh, so, about there. Let's poke a hole through. Now, what you want to do is cut a square that is going to be big enough to coat the whole thing around. So it's better to start with a big... Um, a big rectangle, I should say, not a square. A big rectangle as opposed to a little one, and then you can cut it down to shape. So I'm just going to do this section here, which is already uh, wrapped, just so I can actually do it on camera. So we're going to go from here. And then I think it might be easier with a bit of a Stanley knife. So just make sure you don't cut where your fingers are. Uh, it doesn't have to be neat. It's just literally to get a start. If you do go wonky like I have here, it's not a massive issue. But you can just be as perfect as you want. 
So I'm just going to cut all the way around my can just to make it a lot easier. And this is probably going to spill remnants all over my bedding, but it doesn't matter. So I find it easier to go all the way around. So if you do have anything in the bottom of your can, you can just throw it away. So now, if you do the same with the top, all the way around, it's probably a better method of doing it as opposed to just having a, a perfect square. So let's cut this off like so. Now, it's very messy. It doesn't honestly matter. So, as you can see there, my spring guide is in. Let's just fold it around like that. And then just make sure it closes. You don't want too much overhang, otherwise your spring won't fit in. So, if you get it just so it's touching and see where that is. So, if we say right where that crease is there, and then just cut that away. Maybe do a bit more than the crease. Straight as you can. And just pull that to the side. If you mess up, you've got plenty spare. Again, it's you can use different, it doesn't have to be this specific can, it can be any can, a coat can or whatever. So then you just put that over the top there and press it in. Now what you want to do is take your spring and just see if you can get your spring over the top of it. So it's probably best if you try and like twirl it on, mine probably, well, there you go, it's on. So then just work that all the way down, nice and tight. Yours may not be this tight because I've obviously got the other thing underneath it and you just wanna make sure that it goes all the way down. And there you go. So any of this excess that is just sort of floating about, if you try and uh, like cut it downwards and then curl it up, um, it'll stop it from coming off um if you sort of like bend it back up towards it but you know the, the the top of the spring just a bit like that so you just want to bend them back it'll just stop it from uh you know fr from the the can actually uh sh spreading up the the cylinder so once you've done that reassemble your gun um so as i say i've already i don't need to have this can mod in it because i've already put the uh the other thing on it but um, once you reassemble it, let me just take it out quickly. There you go. So just shove that on there. Get your cylinder. Spring guide in first. Just make sure that the spring is still on the spring guide down there. Shove your cylinder back on. And then just put your nozzle back on, push it down, give it a twist. It's so nice and easy compared to my other sniper. <laughs> um, and then just uh, get your pliers again stick them in the holes and just make sure it's nice and tight like for me it doesn't have to be much there we go and then you gun slide it on in make sure you've got your window open there get your trigger again put that in the hole so you want this uh, little sticky outy bit into the hole at the very back drops in you want to push it down until it clicks. Take your screws and then just tighten them back up. There we go. Get the body of the gun. Weep. What you can do in this instance actually is just make sure that it actually uh, cocks back and works. So it might sound a bit more harsh at the start, but once the uh, the can actually settles in, um, it'll be a hell of a lot better than it was. So just make sure that it cocks back, pushes forward as normal, and then shoots. Perfect. So then slide the stock back onto the gun. Obviously with this, I've got a newer model, uh, the newest one that's out, and I found that if you push the back in so it's flat there, clamp them together, it slots in together. And then you just want to put your uh, your Phillips head screw in the rear. And make sure that one goes in first, and it'll just uh, tie the whole thing together. There we go. And then just find your other screws. Yeah, I've also put the uh, the Allen key. That's for 
this other gun, which I'll come to now. Which again, obviously you can do this for, for all of your guns. I don't know if it's going to have any benefit as much as it does on the uh, SSG, uh, because I found like the difference is, is completely night and day. Like you, you end up getting rid of all of that twang and like a big chunk of your noise. There we go. Last one. There we go. Back together. Can mod completed. Nice. So, now that that one's done, I could potentially cut the video off, but I'm just going to do this other one really quick because this ICS is, uh, is really good and nice and easy to just split apart really quick. So, let's just do this one really quick. Same thing again. Get access to your spring guide, which for me is right here. There we go. Spring to the side, spring guide. Now, I'm going to do this method instead, which I got this for very, very, very cheap on uh, on the old Amazon, I believe. Uh, which one? Is this little bit here going to fit? Oh, look at that. So, slide that on nice and tight. Okay, I've come back with a better lighter now, so hopefully it should... Uh, there we go. That's a lot better. There we go. Now with the top piece, you just want to cut it as short as it is, uh, like to the, the top of the spring guide. Let's try and trim that down. It's like so, and then you just want to light the end of it and seal it on there. There we go. And that's that. One spring guide on there. You can go over it again and just make sure all the lumps and bumps are out of it, but it really doesn't make any odds because it's it's going to stay on there anyway. Um, so, and that's that. Get your spring, shove it on, and then put it back into your gun. Done and done. Brilliant. So there we go. That's how you do a uh, can mod, and also you do a um, you do it with the heat shrink. Um, as I say, both accessible. This is really cheap stuff, and again, for a price of a can, 50p or whatever it is, you can do a couple of them. Um, I used a monster can and done like two or three guns with it. So entirely up to yourselves what you use um either the can or the uh, heat shrink they both do the exact same job and they both work the exact same way um it's just about which you prefer for me personally i like the heat shrink mostly just because uh i don't know i just prefer the heat shrink personal preference do whichever hope you guys enjoyed and uh peace out